be proud of being a spiritualist. Be proud of your knowledge and be comfortable in it. And take comfort in the knowledge that your loved ones, those that walk and guide and inspire you, are with you all the time. Thank you. I honestly don't know what spiritualism is. I've n I'd never even heard of the term. I'm not 100% sure if I believe it or I don't believe it. I'm sorry, I'm on the fence. It is an invisible thing and, and it can't be proved. I've said I'm a believer, but it's because I'm just more excited about the topic than most people. I think it'd be cool to be spoken to um, and kind of push me towards believing it. But until that happens, I'm going to probably be a skeptic. I'm a major cynic and I'm going into this with a very cynical point of view about it. I don't really know too much what it's about and I always think of like what I've seen on TV. I've always wanted to have my own reading, but it's not to like contact anything, it's not to be involved in that kind of side. It's more for an interest, it's more entertainment. I'm doing it for entertainment. I think it'll be interesting with me not necessarily being in it, me being behind the camera more. I think it'll kind of allow me to see the big picture of everything going on. It will be a whole different experience to anything I've had before, so I'm going in with an open mind about it. I really don't know what's going to happen when we get there. People here at the Spiritualist Church believe that there is no death, that life continues. We're in this world now and we will go home to the spirit world. Mediums work in all different ways. They, they're either clairvoyant, they, say, they see something clearly, or they're clairaudience, they hear people speaking to them, or what we call clairsentient, where some information comes into their head and they just know that it's right and it's about a certain person. Um, it is a gift. We know that life is eternal. That's what we're here for. That's why we come onto the platform to try and give evidence that hopefully proves to you that life goes on. I'm going to try and talk to the lady who's put hand up there. Can you understand the lady from the other side? Very fussy about curtains that have to match and, uh, and I think I've got cushion covers made of the same material. Uh, I don't know whether that's what you've been doing. She's been watching, you right. see. Uh, I've got to move on because they want to move me on, but the lady is just wanting to bring all things bright and beautiful. Can, can I come to the little uh, lady in the blue? Yes, thank you. I, I want to bring in a younger man from the spirit world that would have gone very suddenly to spirit, and he loves you very much. All right. I'm worried because you're crying, but he's saying you desperately wanted to hear from me, and you asked him to come. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Well, he was coming anyway. So I've got to move on, but would you take the love and know that they are rooting for you? Has somebody been talking about going to have the glasses changed or something? Yeah? Are you not liking them? No? That's right. That's right. There's a little lady here looks to be near a 90 when she passed the spirit. She wants to show me a very nice um, tea set. Nice cups and saucers. Yeah, and show it much. There's a lot of love there for you. Yes. Like I say, uh, uh, bless you. All right. I think you kind of get lost in it. At the time, like, it were, I felt really emotional because obviously they're talking about people that I've loved that have died. But looking back at like, everything they said were right. But I still can't help but think, like, is it just coincidence? Like, everything she said, I was like, oh my God, it's true. And obviously I got emotional because I was like, <laughs> like, cry like an idiot. It really shocked me with how emotional the whole thing was. I felt like there was a lot more emotion there than I was expecting. 
Well, because I, I wasn't, I was working on the sound, so I, I kept getting caught up in it and forgetting what I was doing. But yeah, there was um, that woman that started crying, like she she talked about um, yeah, like, a little boy or something that had passed. I have no idea what it's like to be kind of in that situation where you obviously miss somebody so much that you would go to a church and try and get a message from them. We all said at the start, like, oh, I'd love to get a reading. It'd let me know if it was true or if, if I didn't believe in it or whatever. And now, like, Kate's had this, like, yeah. lovely reading and she's still like, oh, I don't know, actually, maybe another one. It might be quite <laughs> addictive, actually. It might be addictive. It's a real, it was an eye-opener, for definite. Everybody's mediumship is unique to themselves. Everybody has their own little rituals and little ways. You know, I know people that will only wear a certain coloured underclothes or a certain pair of socks or a certain shirt or a jacket, you know. Uh, and uh, myself, I like to be comfortable. I like to try and arrive a little bit early so that I can be quiet. I try to make myself calm. Believe it or not, I'm always extremely nervous. I think most mediums are. I've always been an open-minded kind of chap. I've always been fascinated by unexplained things. Isn't it strange how princes and kings and clowns that caper in sawdust rings and ordinary folk like you and me are builders for eternity? I love to be part of the team that makes this centre what it is and what we all want for this centre is to be a, a, a loving, harmonious place. So knowing that life goes on helps you to put your present life into a better perspective as well. So we got to halfway through the um, experience and we didn't really know how we felt about spiritualism. We, it confused us all completely and all opinions were up in the air. The experience we had were good but we kind of thought we needed to go to a one-on-one -on -one medium and it, like an independent medium to see, to see if we can get more proof basically. Right, now, I know you are Kate, but I just got the name Kate came in. Yeah. Can you understand a Kate yeah. in spirit? Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit emotional, and that's just the love coming okay. forward, okay? I'm trying to find out how she's passed, and she seems to be avoiding it, okay? Oh, right. Sometimes they don't want to tell you. Yeah. Sometimes I get told, mind your own business. She just said, I died. <laughs> <laughs> okay? It's a quite practical lady. It's pretty much what happened, though. I said beforehand that I wanted her to give me a specific name that has like convinced me and she did straight away she said my grandma's name it wasn't the spiritualism that um, did it for me it was the psychic part of it all mm, like she was naming things that were quite specific to what was going on in the time and i'm gonna say it she said that i loved what's it <laughs> everyone loves what's it <laughs> Do you like cheesy watsits? I love them. I, love them. I, can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I'm like obsessed with them. So that for me was proof enough at that point. And I was quite excited to take the spiritualist stuff home, but yeah. it got home and it just weren't for me. Like nothing could stick. So yeah. that did throw me off a bit. I think it'll help a lot when we go to the open circle next week. Yeah. Hopefully that'll give us more of an insight because that basically is where mediums go to develop the skills. So we can kind of figure out how, how they do it. When we went to the open circle, um, we got given a task where we had to bring um, a photograph each of someone that had passed. And we had to swap photographs and use our senses and be very aware of everything around us, what we were thinking or feeling. If you see it, if you feel it, if you sense it, say it. We had to tell the other person as much as we could about the person in the photograph without knowing anything about them. I kept just getting like twitches in my feet and stuff. And, trying to connect that and Gemma was just like, no. <laughs> the one bit that I got right was uh, that the little boy's favourite toy was this rocking horse which I uh, like went on to go and describe like the colour and everything else and uh, I got that spot on which could have just been a lucky guess 
but I still got a right buzz out of getting it right. I want you to bring this fella to me and I want you to get him to give me some information. In this clip I was asked to give three dates and I gave two birthdays and one anniversary and the final one that I gave was actually the birthday of the woman in the photograph so basically I'd, I'd done what Gary had asked us to do. It worked for me and it, it's worked for so many people. I kind of imagine that your, uh, your brain's into halves, there's a half that spirit works and there's your intuitive side and there's the half that's your logical side, the bit that's trained and educated so to speak. That tries to make sense of everything that comes in the other side. We've basically not got to let it. It was too much for it to be a coincidence, in my opinion, and I think that's what swayed my opinion, to make me a bit more open-minded anyway. Yeah, we've been sort of learning about spiritualism, but to actually sit there and try and be a medium yourself was really fun. It convinced me a little bit, I think. spiritualism through a really bad car accident I had and what led me up to that accident I had a few warning signs and I wasn't listening really because I didn't know what I was listening to. My son had an accident and was brain damaged and my marriage broke up then and it just one day it um, it just struck me that I needed something else. We do embrace spiritualism, but it's, we try to live by it as yeah. well. We try mm -hmm. to help other people. We try to be considerate. We try to live by our codes, and I, and I think that's important. And it doesn't matter what anybody else's religion is, we accept whoever you are here. Mm -hmm. Everybody's so friendly that you become friends. And I think you help each other, don't you? Yes. You know, when anybody's in yeah. trouble, we help each mm -hmm. other. And that's a great community, mm -hmm. it brings us together. I feel like I started this journey as a stubborn sceptic and I wasn't really willing to change my mind. And now I feel like if something can't be proven then you can't tell yourself that it's real or not real because you really actually don't know. I don't think I believe in spiritualism any more or less than I did at the start of the project. I think I definitely understand it a little bit more. I am more sceptical about spiritualism simply because I never got a message and when I did I couldn't really apply it to myself. However, I have really enjoyed the experience of going to the circles and being, to, being at the services. It's something that I am open-minded to and I will, I feel like in the future I might like occasionally pop along and see if I get a message because the, the things I've experienced have been an eye-opener and there's a lot of things I, ca I can't really explain. And everyone's really friendly and the whole atmosphere is just really nice. I'm not sure if I personally believe in spiritualism. I would love to have that much faith in something. I think I respect people that have that much faith in something. 